Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we have a reading for Taurus. Oh yeah, okay. So just keep in mind if you come across any of the videos and something sparks you to click on it, there is a reason why you were meant to hear something in that video. They are all timeless regardless of the date. So. Your messages, if not now, when? Don't put off your happiness, act now. Yes, your magnetic energy is attracting your new love of a lifetime. Wow, Taurus, these are beautiful. People feel your beautiful energy and can't help but want to talk to you and be around you. Wow. <laughs> And a knock is at the door. It is not at all who you expect. Oh, wow. You might want to watch Aries reading because they had the same one, I think, or it was, if it wasn't Aries, it might have been Pisces. So, and I'm just going to randomly grab, oops, I just want this on camera so you see, randomly grab some. You have a new true love coming in for you. Be ready. <laughs> wow, and what's this one here? Releasing limited beliefs that may be holding you back. So there may be some things that you were conditioned to believing as a child uh, that you may need to release. And I'm gonna get one more here. Don't let them get you in your ego. No need to be defensive. So don't let somebody poke, poke, poke you into being somebody that you don't wanna be or aren't anymore. I feel like you left that kind of behavior behind you when you awakened. So I'm just gonna put some cards onto the decks here. Um, we have some new decks that I have for the donations that I received. So I have this one here is through the eyes of the soul and this will be your new sun card. I have the after tarot here which will be after these cards here. Um, it will show whatever this message is, it will show you what it is afterwards. Um, also, I have the cards of time, and this is finding the right moment. So this will give us a little more insight of when this might happen. There's numbers on there that you can look up for additional messages. And it also gives you other information about things that may be happening in your life. So, or which direction they might be going. So I'm just gonna put these ones also on. And I don't like to do it without having it on camera. Ugh, I lost a card. But that's okay, I will pick it up after. I'll just pause. All right. Some random cards. Now, there we go, and we'll look at the bottom of the decks after the reading. So let's look at your sun card here. We have looking for that stability in more than just um, kind of like a long-term relationship, something that maybe involves marriage or a family or children or that kind of setting that you're looking for, that type of stability and that type of mindset. I kind of feel like it's that happy home kind of life, you know? There's, it's very beautiful, the, that rest, peace, and tranquility here. Love is in the air even with the lover's card here as well. This to me is a very divine union that has been brought in by spirit. Wow. <laughs> Let's see for Taurus here. What do we have for your sun card? You may be looking for that love of a lifetime here. 
and your new true love is coming in. This is somebody new to you, and it may be somebody you met briefly. Let's see, what do we have here? We have create, activate your, what does that say? Your DNA. <laughs> so you need to activate your DNA here for this to come in. Wow. <laughs> so talk to spirit about activating your DNA. Oh, maybe you're going to receive some gifts. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Find the middle ground and compromise. So there's always compromising when you are not by yourself any longer. There's someone else to think about. And it can't always be your way or the highway kind of mentality. There is a compromise that needs to be had to have things go a long ways. I always think about the other person as well. So let's have a look and see what your emotions are. Okay. So you may have had a lot of sleepless nights. You may be awakening. You may be getting downloads. And you're learning to use your intuition by the looks of this here with the High Priestess. Looks like you have the keys here to somebody's heart or to the sacred knowledge. Let's have a look. Hold your vision. So there's something you know that you want. There's some goal that you are trying to achieve. You are very close to achieving your goal. Look at that. <laughs> and then the time to give rather than take. And this may be where you compromise. Beautiful. New moon in Virgo. Wow. And then we have the energy is gaining momentum. <laughs> so I feel like this is coming in for you. You may be having sleepless nights about your person. You might be maybe picking up on something here intuitively. So let's see how others see you. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles here, I kind of feel like whatever abandonment issues or insecurities you have, I feel like you're working on leaving those behind with the Six of Swords here. You you may have had a certain mindset and I feel like you know where to go in to get in from the cold here. And the Six of Swords in reverse, I mean, this is kind of resisting some type of change. And By resisting, this isn't going to change what's going on in your life. Um, you're still going to struggle, maybe be unemployed, still have all these insecurities or ongoing challenges until you realize that <clears throat> something needs to change here. And maybe other people see this happening for you or see you in this state here. Let's see. Yeah, visionary. I chart the si stars, signs, and symbols to craft magic. So perhaps you may be uh, crafting dark magic here. Um, I feel like some negative energy here. What is this? The ruby star flow. I embody my authentic and sensual essence. I feel like you may have been wearing a mask for a while here, Taurus, and I feel like you're starting to realize you need to take that mask off in order to really get to the root of whatever it is that you're trying to resist changing about yourself. You may have a mask on when it comes to the public and how they see you. Lovers, the cosmic union is destined for greatness. Beloved Zeus. So, you are destined for something. And I feel like you may know this or feel this. And I feel like there may be some type of revenge that you want to get on somebody. But this is a mindset that needs to change. And this hasn't had a chance to really change for you. I feel like you're... 
realizing things about yourself, how you come across to other people. And you, you may not feel it's a good look, right? You may not like the way it looks to others. And it may not have realized that about yourself. Let's see here. What's your fortune? Or not, not your fortune, your Jupiter. Wow, Jupiter, there's an ending that's going to bring in a new beginning that's going to bring in that Ten of Pentacles. This is um, a love of a lifetime, stability, uh, family wealth, or inheritance, or something along those lines. But an ending has to occur in order for this to come in. Let's see here. You may have felt really, um, thought maybe this person that you're with here is who you're meant to be with, but it looks like there may be an ending here, because there is a door to romance here. You are a healer of all ages, and a man holding a heart, whether you are that man, or there is a man who is holding their heart out for you. They want to romance you. But maybe you had to change something here in order for all this to come to fruition. And then we have, yeah, financial constraints, stability. So this all has to do with some type of, I'm almost feeling karma. Maybe you had the Ten of Pentacles and now that's all ended. You know, you're having these financial constraints. This may be some type of karma. Taurus that you're having or this could be your person that's going through this let's have a look here somebody is watching you they do see you as their ten of cups this is a family this is having the home the family the the loving grandparents there this is having the children the the whole shebang having it all and they're watching you and this is having to do with Venus, your love life. This is about how you love. They know you're the prize. Taurus. Or you see them as a prize. Maybe you're watching their social media. Or they're watching yours. Take it how it resonates for you. Let's see what we get. Keep an open mind. Okay. Maybe you have shut off romance altogether and this is somebody that's not your usual type that may get your interest moving here let's see what else we have <clears throat> for Taurus <laughs> wedding wow whatever this is there is some deep want for marriage here let go of control issues yeah don't try to control the narrative just go with the flow and i feel like there is some resistance towards towards all this i feel like you may have had uh, this terrible mindset of lack okay not wanting you don't feel like you're going anywhere stuck and I feel like you really find yourself here with the Ten of Pentacles and you're, I, I almost feel like some type of death to some luck here and you have these financial constraints which gets you really worried here. But when it comes to love, you need to let go of those. Yeah, this is your soulmate those control issues you can't control love it just has to be let's see yeah there's some big boundaries here and whoever was um, deceiving you and whether this was <clears throat> your soulmate or if this your soulmate could be a friend it doesn't have to be the person you want to marry this could be a friend that's a soulmate or a family member Somebody's going to be caught here doing something shady, some shady ass behavior, and that little lasso there is going to catch them in the act. And I feel like you have these boundaries up because of some deception that you may be even picking up on here that's keeping you awake at night. 
Maybe somebody's stealing something from you or <clears throat> you catch them stealing something from you. This, These are your relationships, your palace here. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past. So there is some type of camera that you put in your home <laughs> or something, Taurus, that you catch somebody in the act of stealing something from you. The Phoenix, there's a new phase here, a rekindle, a renew, a transformation and growth. You change your mind about this person as a friend, I feel, once you catch them. I feel like there's some growth that happens. You might be mirroring your soulmate or your person you want to marry. You may be seeing yourself in them, okay? This gives you some introspection. And usually if you're mirroring, that's usually a twin flame. And when you are together, you will find that you're able to see and break patterns with this person. You may have an ego breakdown when you're with this person, when, when you're in a twin flame. You may share beliefs in spirituality and mirroring each other is a big part of it. You see yourself in this person. And your soulmate, you're like easy best friends. It's like a soul family, a deep, warm and safe, comfy and a deep soul connection like you've known them before. And that is the difference between a twin flame versus a soulmate. Now, what's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, not today. <laughs> You're not dealing with hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, a person. You have your boundaries, which we see here as, as, and you're still angry with whoever this person is. And this might be bringing you back to that feeling like you're going to just ditch anybody that has that um, wanting a handout from you or whatever. And this may have been somebody you couldn't walk away from. Maybe it's somebody in your family. But whoever it is, you're still angry with them for whatever they tried to steal from you. All right, let's look at what's influencing you. Okay, you may have already made a decision about somebody because they hurt you, but you're turning around and seeing these other two cups here, noticing and focusing on what's full here and not what's tipped over and empty. You're not dwelling in the past. You're maybe turning around and looking at the future here. And this may be something that you need to remember to keep an open mind about. You may be focusing on this person too. I mean, at some point you're going to be having this in your face because um, you're, you're not going to be able to deny seeing what you see on camera because you catch them in the act. So you've already made a decision here with the two swords in reverse. This is anxiety about some truth revealed here, and it deeply hurt you. But you're also looking at a wedding coming in for love. You, There's somebody you really love. Now, is this the person you're planning to marry? Only you will know that answer. Let's see, what's the influence here? Hmm. You maybe have that loyal heart here. Number eight, and that's action and resolution, finding um, a solution to something here. You're willing to go the distance and you have your ascended masters here with number 11, helping you get there. Yeah, you're kind of by the book and this is, this is what your ancestors or, or spirit guys, ascended masters, if not again with number 11, is maybe giving you a play-by-play -play on what you need to be doing here to guide you. Um, yeah, you've already missed, you've already made your decision about somebody that has a loyal heart that you know can go the distance with you when you when marriage comes into play. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, you need to take time out for you don't forget to give you yourself love it says time for a nap number six this is about cooperating maybe that compromise in some way not dwell on something and not try to control everything 
Wow, yeah, there's massive healing here with temperance and the star. Wow. This is harmony, peace, and being grounded in your life purpose. Perhaps you have public recognition with the star here. And this is Aquarius energy and the temperance. This is um, <clears throat> Sagittarius with the adventure, right? So um, with the star, this is somebody that's using their head, their smarts. They have a lot of hope and promise. Yeah, a lot of healing and guidance and a lot of faith. Wow. This is beautiful. And you've been so patient for this to come in. And this is going to be in the flow. And you find a lot of peace. You find yourself in your element. And this is your fortune coming in. Wow. What do we have for wealth here? Fortune. For Taurus. We have sobriety, so there is something you need to work and heal, which is that star card. Even the temperance card is about healing as well. Let's see. Hobbies. Yeah, you might find something to do instead uh, to keep you from doing whatever you're trying to recover from for sobriety. You find a hobby to keep you occupied. Relationship dynamics here. I feel like you may have healed something uh, within yourself when it comes to relationships. Let's see here. Finances. You're healing your finances as well. Let's see. Your finances may change here for you. Yeah, that self-care, I said that about the nap here. So self-care is here and forgiveness. And I also said that about the type of way you're coming across to people and needing to have that forgiveness instead of taking um, something and going with it <laughs> um, to get back or that impulse of <laughs> I guess stubbornness because um, you're quite Taurus you're quite dependable and strong you have a little bit of materialistic uh, traits with you but you're definitely strong-willed when it comes to things you you like to have things your way and you're maybe even stubborn about getting it you might even decide to volunteer your time which may be putting you out into your out of your comfort zone Let's see here. Your, this is your um, North Node. What's going on right now? Wow, you, <laughs> you may have dumped out somebody's cup. You may have dumped out a blessing here. You are the emperor here, and perhaps you didn't like the blessing you were getting, or you didn't recognize it as a blessing, because you didn't have that open mind about something here. You may have realized after the fact. Let's see here. Yeah, there was a gift here. Somebody, I feel like somebody was the blessing. Somebody was the gift. This may have had an impact on your family here. You had some healing family stuff, didn't you? Maybe that was a different reading. <laughs> um, let's see what else we get here. Family room. Yeah, there's a message of concern from your family. There, there's five number five here for change. So something changed within your family dynamic here family room and it has something to do with this person as a gift let's see one more card mm, poverty it may have been this other person was in poverty maybe they needed you the most and you let them down or vice versa maybe they let you down in your time of need yeah there's some despair here Something needs to change again. Number five, change, instability, and conflict here. Pouring out a blessing here that was from spirit. Enjoy time, six days, six weeks. Hmm. 
there's an offer here and you're really working on yourself, working on your finances to become the king of pentacles. You're definitely working on yourself and your pentacles. Taurus. Okay, we have Scorpio here, and number eight. This is about action of free will, and I feel like being in the flow of what spirit was guiding you towards here, um, you need to heal the wounds because you poured out a blessing here, and I feel like you realized this after the fact, or your person did. 2410 and 2211 may have additional messages for you with your angel numbers. You can plug that in and see what comes up. We have eight weeks and eight months. So I feel like with this, it's going to take eight weeks to eight months to get back to the King of Pentacles and master whatever work you would have been doing on yourself to be in that financial mode maybe you find a great job that makes you a bunch of money here okay and scorpio this is somebody that's passionate brave a little bit of secretive some manipulation as well so and number eight is being in the flow and having that free will maybe you have scorpio in your chart we have Taurus, you're coming out and you're reading. This is all about balance, 2104 and 2005. Create a structure. And I feel like that is what you're doing. You're building up your finances. You are working and mastering your craft. You're taking action to find a, res a resolution here. Something to rectify what happened to your finances. And on the bottom of the deck is Sagittarius, 2311 and 2112. Find a new meaning. So this may be, find a new meaning. Nine weeks, nine months, Sagittarius, number nine. This is ending brings new beginnings. So something needs to end with you. I feel like it might have to do about how you come across to others or how you treat others something needs to change there maybe it, it is a Sagittarius in your friend group that has to go or something along those lines that's affecting your work let's see what spirit has to say for you or to you yeah, you may have felt like you are missed out on your blessing. You missed an opportunity here. Now this person might be, okay, come and speak the truth. Come and communicate, but just because you do tell me the truth and I forgive you does not mean I have to take you back. They may be having strong boundaries in place here. So it's kind of saying they might cut you out of that opportunity. You may not have a chance to go back with this person who that was your gift. Now, if it was your person that's going through this, take it however it resonates for you. Wow. So I'm going to take them all because I feel like this is a big thing. Having that gentleness. I feel like you feel like if you show that you're sensitive or gentle or show compassion, that you're somehow not brave or strong or you're less of a person or a man if you are uh, in fact a man. Like you're less of a man if you show these gentle side of you and that's just not the case. And if you're a woman, you may find this person um, you may be kind of cold towards this person and they might come across more gentle and compassion. This may throw you for a loop. This may be some type of teaching and learning um, situation where I kind of feel like whoever here that is in your, 
whatever this not today about this person but when it comes to a wedding here this is somebody you want to go the distance with and perhaps you made a decision about this person or they made a decision about you and isn't taking you back maybe you fumbled them as a gift here you work your way back up though and there's relationship harmony here so there's a lot of teaching and learning compassion and gentleness between the two of you now whether you have fixed this or this is someone else coming in for you you will know what your situation is clear audience whoever this person is maybe it's you you will be getting from archangel zadkiel notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people now that you could in your mind you could hear it from a past over loved one and you know they've passed and it's just like kind of crazy that you hear this voice that you recognize and maybe you ask a question and you get an answer so just know that you are not crazy and you are tapping in to a gift from spirit here as Claire audience. Now, if you don't know anything about the Claire's, um, you can look it up. There's Claire audience, clairvoyance. There's there's Claire transient. There's all these different types of Claire's. Now, you need to clear your space, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng sh feng shui. So if you don't know what that is, you can go and look that up as well. And, <laughs> and then you are understanding what they're saying here. So let us see what is on the bottom of the decks. We did get quite a few here. Now, crystal clear intentions. Perhaps before you weren't clear on what your intentions were, Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So whatever you're looking to do, write it out, say it every day. Um, be specific of what you're looking for and it will come. Let's see. Wow. King of Pentacles still. And what do we have? Being strong, having strength with Leo here. Wow, that's beautiful. We have Earth here. So, and what do we have for this last message here? <laughs> if you're single, step out and let yourself shine. You are a star seed of some sort here, whether it's Pleiadian um, or any of the other types of star seeds. And if you don't know the types, you can look that up as well. There's many different types of star seeds that you can be. Moon seed, sun seed, all kinds of different seeds. So, and they're all different places in the universe that that you come from. If you are in fact a star seed, you come here just to shine. You have that healing about you. I feel like yeah, you have the healer of the ages here. So you definitely have to be a star seed, definitely absolutely do i want to get one more for you you are moving to a higher light higher level in life with a wonderful new beginning so there you have it whoever this was not today maybe you found somebody that stole from you maybe it was the person you wanted to marry that you thought had a loyal heart that really hurt you okay this was a blessing you dumped out this gift and perhaps there's two people here one one that was loyal and one that was not okay and you work your way back up to being the king of pentacles here you still are in here as well because you've gained some type of strength here i feel like you found yourself along the way which really took you out of this lack feeling of financial and lack of not being able to walk away from something and i feel like you finally get to a point where you see what you needed to see okay yeah you have a beautiful energy here people love you they want to be around you you need to limit or let's see yeah release these limited beliefs you're magnetic 
and you have a new true love coming in for you and this kind of set it all over again too right here shining and if not when don't put your happiness on the back burner right you don't need to be defensive you just forgive be forgiving and you do have a new true love coming in you may have more than one coming in that you will choose from because I see one here um, one here one here so maybe you have three different people that you see as potential people one you let go of and dump out you might find that that was the one and then now you have to find out how you're going to get this person back they may not take you back so there's some things going on here there's definitely lessons being learned here about finances and about love here and about i almost feel like friendship with people certain friendships that you weren't seeing as <laughs> as bad or negative and yet you catch them on camera doing something you catch them in the act there so wow you got a lot going on there Taurus but in the end you get your finances back you get out of that lack mindset you find a job that you really master your craft with you set clear intentions of what you want you you get these gifts here you have relationship harmony so you do find your person wow i really like this for you i hope you do too i hope it wasn't too confusing um because i do see a progression here of things that happen that change over time here where you by the time we get to now you may have already dumped out this gift here but you're learning things here okay maybe you thought it was somebody that it wasn't maybe you find out who it actually was when you put your camera on somebody maybe somebody told you some bullshit story here that was a friend but you have soulmate here and a wedding and with a soulmate that's that easy best friend kind of feeling like you've known them before it's a deep soul connection and like that could be a friend it could also be a love and you have a knock on your door remember and it's not who you expect it to be and it looks like to me that you've healed a lot of things here relationship dynamics you get um sober or whatever from your sobriety whether it was drinking it could be eating it could be uh, any kind of addiction um whatever it was you get over this you find forgiveness you heal your finances and you start to volunteer with something maybe your time love or money wow you heal a lot of things and you're being more patient with things which is beautiful you do go through a little bit of despair here but you have already come up to end, end up as the emperor man or woman it doesn't matter if you are the emperor and you're a woman you're just taking control of your life where you are doing exactly what you want to do and you're kind of wearing the pants <laughs> i guess you want to say with that stability power wealth and you're a leader so regardless of man or female you're just stepping into that energy right so wow you're very strong too and the loyal heart you go the distance and i feel like perhaps there's times where you just need to have the rest to heal some things here have that self-care which shows up again somewhere over here so but that's what I do have for you, Taurus. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. <laughs> so if you want to donate, uh, you can click down on the description box below. 
and there's a PayPal link that will take you straight to PayPal or you can do the super thanks or just even watching the videos like sharing and subscribing definitely helps the channel I appreciate each and every one of you for all that you do for the channel and I love you all take care stay blessed and we will see you next time all right later